person so i'll be taking you guys along with me as i prepare this satisfy this my pregnancy cravings you know when you're pregnant you can you just find yourself attracted to so many strange food Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel guys. So in today's video, <laughs> so today I'm just craving one. By the way, I'm eating garden egg and the cucumber and this is my granite. This particular food that I'm going to be preparing, it's been my favorite since I became pregnant. Like, first, I'll just make it plenty like this and put it in the fridge that can last me for like five days. At least I eat rice five days in a week because I'm a rice kind of person. I'm not really a swallow kind of person. So I'll be taking you guys along with me as I prepare this, satisfy this my pregnancy cravings, you know. When you're pregnant, you can you just find yourself attracted to so many strange food. In my previous pregnancy, it wasn't really my my favorite. It wasn't really my favorite, but this one, I find myself craving the food all the time. Any type of stew that is not fish sauce, I wouldn't want to eat it. I just want this particular food. It's strange because each pregnancy comes with its own craving. When I was pregnant with my son, it was bone. I was always craving bone, chewing bone like a dog, like this thing. <laughs> I'll just be craving bone, bone. My hobby would go to the market, buy me bone, go to people that sell cow meat and tell them to sell bone for him. He will buy bone. If you buy chickens for me, after cooking the chicken, frying it for me, I'll be like, I'll shred the chicken and remove all the skin and you find me chewing the chicken bone the head the matching ground that's the leg that the feet or the foot of the chicken that's that was my favorite part in my first baby my second baby haha -ha, it was roasted fish roasted fish roasted plantain anything roasted but this one ha this one says is a uh, fish sauce and white rice it's not my all-time favorite. Usually, my hubby doesn't like fish. He doesn't eat fish. But when I'm pregnant and I'm craving fish, he doesn't have any choice than to buy it from me. If not, haha. -ha. I'll keep complaining. I will not want to eat any other food. So this one is fish, pepper soup, fish, or fish sauce. Maybe one of these days, if I'm making my pepper soup, fish, pepper soup. I'll show you guys how I make the fish pepper soup this has been my favorite meal one of my favorite meals since the journey of this pregnancy join me i have my bottle of granite here i have some slices of cucumber that i eat because i feel too hungry these days like this is past one and i'm already craving for lunch i'm very my body is literally shaking so this is what i'm using to like sustain myself while my food is ready i've already I've already boiled rice, it's just to make the fish sauce to eat the rice. Can I, use it? I use it to eat yam sometimes or fried plantain, but today is rice I want. So, you guys, come along. Thank you for being part of this journey so far. I love you all so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for being part of your prayers and the messages and everything. Thank you so much. So, let's dive into the kitchen. So, I'll go and make this amazing fish sauce. So guys, this is all the ingredients we'll be using for this vegetable fish sauce. This is my crayfish. This is my onion. In here I have onion. This is ginger. This is garlic. This is tin tomatoes. I'm using tin tomatoes. I don't want to use fresh tomato. But usually when I make it on a normal day, I use fresh tomatoes and tin tomatoes. 
that's tomato this is called tomato paste in case you are wondering why i'm calling it tomato this is tomato paste it could be in tin form it could be in sachet form salt to taste my black um cameroon pepper this is called cameroon pepper you can use fresh pepper this is my stock cube i'm using just one stock cube because this is my vegetable oil this is my spinach that's green called african spinach it's in Nigeria, it is called green. They have different uh, species of it, but this is the species I like to use for my fish sauce. So this is what I'll be using. This is the main, the main thing. This fish, this is kote. I don't know what it's called in English. It is still kote, but what? Well, if you want to buy it, uh, you just tell them you want to buy kote. This is just one kilo of kote fish. You can see it's very big. This is kote. This is all that I'll be using for this. So, so I'll, let me. I will go ahead and boil hot water that I will use to wash the fish and prepare the vegetables. Then we'll continue with the cooking. In here, I have my fish. I added onion, st one stock cube, some pepper, and some salt. I'm going to be adding a little water just to boil the fish on fire. I washed the fish using just hot water and the salt to remove the smell of the fish we all know that fish can have this bad smell that is not properly cleaned just allow the fish to boil plucking the or shred plucking the leaf i just want to wash it and uh, shred it or cut it into small small distance So I'm fry, I fry the fish using palm oil, that's why it is golden brown. Then after that, I'll pour my granite oil, then add my onion to, to steam. Then we'll be adding our ginger and the garlic paste to the mixture and we'll continue the frying process. We fry it for a bit to get the onion cooked. Then we'll be adding our tomato paste to it. Just add our tomato paste and we'll continue the frying. We'll fry for a while and uh, you can see the tomato is almost ready. So we'll be adding the fish stock that came out from the fish when we boiled the fish. So I just added my fish stock then I will go ahead now and add the other ingredients that we'll be adding to this sauce adding my remaining half stock cube then we'll add uh, some pepper some of the cameroon pepper we'll be adding some of the cameroon pepper yeah adding more of the pepper i want it a little hot like spicy like pepper you know i love pepper a lot so I'll be adding my crayfish as well to it and they continue cooking. Then we'll now cover it to simmer a bit before we continue with the process. So it has been boiling for a while now. We'll be adding our vegetable. I've already finished cutting, slicing the vegetable. I'll be adding the green into the stew or the sauce. I'll be adding the green to the sauce. Then continue stirring to get the green meat. Once I add my vegetable, I usually don't like to cover the pot because I don't want it to change color from green to another color. And I don't cook. Cook it for long after adding the green. I'll just add my salt to taste now to make sure there is salt. Before you add salt, because I use salt for the fish, so I didn't add salt earlier. So now I'm adding uh, my fish, my fried fish into the sauce to get that fish, the stew, the fish marinated with the sauce so that it can give it another unique taste plus a palm oil taste. So I'm just slightly scattering the fish so that it will be in a smaller, smaller portion of form so i allowed it to boil for a little one one minute maximum then i will turn off the heat but well, you can see how it is looking looking all yummy all yummy and okay like then the fish usually i don't like to add the head because 
I don't like the head. So, but my sister said she wanted the head, so I'm putting the head just for it to get that taste of the sauce into the head so she can eat. So that's the end of the cooking. Let Bon appetit! So, our sauce is ready. It doesn't really take time. It's very easy to make. Very simple. Fast, fast food, you know? Not the food that you'll be cooking before you finish cooking it, you've lost appetite. Once you have put the fish is on fire, you're slicing the vegetable before the fish is ready for you to fry. You're already fried cooking the stew and you're already bringing it down. Very, very tasty. And healthy too. And you know when you're pregnant, you need to eat so many vegetables just to help to build your blood. So these are ways I try to build my blood. Whenever I take this thing consistently for for like two weeks or for one week, and if, if I go to hospital, when they check my PVC, it's always high. So it's one of those food that helps to build blood and everything. Well, Once I cook it, the remaining one will be in the fridge. I'm always stingy with it. I just put the rest in the fridge. So what I do, I just boil rice or boil whatever I want to use to eat it the next day and I'm good. Very simple because sometimes when they are eating what they want to eat, me, I don't, because I don't want to eat it, I'll just be like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new, my name is Chino Yelum and this is my channel where I upload beauty, lifestyle, natural hair, DIYs videos. Feel free to subscribe to join the family. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!